<sighs> what now? Can't you see it's way past my bedtime, Magic Man? What's the fuss about? Hello, young lady. Someone came to my confessional and admitted they stole your hot dog. I would like to discuss the matter so that you may find peace. Who the heck do you think you are sneaking around and accusing me of losing my precious hot dog? Get out of here, you precious hot dog. What, what do you mean, precious hot dog? <laughs> what do you mean, precious hot dog? Well, well, if it isn't a lost camp, a hack point. What brings you to my door at this ungodly hour, sweetie? I'm sorry, did you say something? Mm. Ugh, never mind, it was clearly a mistake to even acknowledge you. Goodbye, loser. Damn. <laughs> I want to mess with the logic. Oops, oops, oops. Oh my gosh, look at you living the corporate clone life. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Why are you knocking on my door for? Uh, of course you wouldn't understand the cops are making efforts to connect with your neighbors. Goodbye. Damn it. Okay. Got it. Oh! Well, this one's going to be easy. Konnichiwa, my dear visitor. I must admit, I can't help... But Wanda, you're standing sans shirt and pants outside my door. Do you have a reason for this unusual wardrobe? Ah, ya, 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 ya. Konnichiwa, my friend. I am here to invite you to a cat-made cafe. Kebab. Oh, wow, a cat-made cafe. That sounds absolutely perfect. I can't resist cute Neko girls serving me delicious treat. Count me in, but could you at least cover up a bit before we go? It's important to dress appropriately for such a kawaii establishment. Do you have any kawaii cat outfits that you can lend me? Oh, 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 you're in luck, my friend. As a devoted kawaii fashion enthusiast, I happen to have a collection of adorable cat-themed outfits. I can lend you one, but I must insist that you promise to take good care of it and return it promptly. Kawaii fashion is a sacred art after all. Don't worry, I would take good care of your pussy outfit. Oh. Yeah? That's completely inappropriate! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, he picked up on it. I was trying to be clever. What do you mean, cat? It means cat. Alright, hold on. Oh, crap. Mm. Oh, it's clear you lack the basic social skills to engage. I'm not wasting any more impressions. To hey, accident, I keep... Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm starting my beauty sleep? I hope whatever you have is worth interrupting my important schedule. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to gaze upon your beautiful face before leaving town forever. Mm. Nice try, but I have zero interest in your lame attempts at flattery. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, How festive. Are you here to sprinkle some holiday cheer, or are you just lost on your way to the North Pole? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. Oh, wow. oh, seriously? Mambo number five? That's a song that said last millennium. Can't believe you're still living in the past, but whatever floats your, your angel wings. Well, if Mambo number five is outdated, I heard there's a Mambo number six. For you trendy people. Excuse me? I am the epitome of trainers. There's no such thing as Mambo number six. You must be totally mistaken. Yes, there is! Damn it. Ay, 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 kawaii ugu. Oh my gosh, you're speaking my language. Kawaii ugu indeed. So tell me, what's your favorite anime? Mine is definitely Sailor Moon. Samurai Pizza Squadron 7. Wow, Samurai Pizza Squadron 7 sounds like a totally awesome anime. I've never heard of it before. I must add it to my watch list immediately. What's it about? It's about samurais who take pizza, pasta, then they put it in a box and deliver it to the house of their leader. That sounds like the most epic delivery ever. I can't wait to see all the samurai slicing pizza with their katanas. Do they have special moves and special toppings? They have a special topping, indeed. Once they place it on their leader's cock. Cock, cock, cock. Cheesy on the peony. And sauce on the balls. Oh, how am I? You! Have crossed the line of decency! <laughs> I knew he was gonna hate it. They don't like it when you go lewd or sexual or swear. Okay, for reals, though. Enemy, so gods, welcome to a humble abode. Okay. Kawaii Ugu, let's go to a maid cafe. Oh, how am I? Um, I apologize, but I don't think a maid cafe is quite my cup of tea. Thanks for the offer, though. Nya what? What? Oh, because I didn't say cat cafe? Uh-oh, get in here. Because it wasn't a cat cafe? Ah. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, ohayou gozaimasu. 
Hawaii Ugu, would you like to go to a slime girl cat made cafe? Oh my gosh, that sounds just so kawaii. I'd love to go to a sla slime girl cat made cafe. But Senpai, can you tell me more about it? I want to make sure it's the most sugoi experience ever. It is extra sugoi. You go there and the girls serve you tea. And they're dressed up in their little slime outfits with cat ears. Very kawaii. But cat fur would get stuck in her slime and it would be all dirty. That's the point. It's dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like a dream come true. I can already imagine adorable they must look. Nay, nay. Can you recommend any other kawaii places to visit? Well, if slime girls and cat girls don't get your kawaii otaku fix, there's also a cafe where you can dress like a dog boy. <laughs> eh, dress like a dog boy, yeah? That sounds so unique and different. I'm totally intrigued. Can you tell me more about this cafe? I can already picture myself getting all kawaii and wagging my tail. You get on all fours, and if you say woof woof, they'll give you a free doggy treat. Super kawaii doggy treat. That's a little too extreme for me, senpai. I don't think I can handle being on all fours and barking like a dog. It's just not my cup of tea. Damn it! <laughs> I need to stick the landing. Oh, 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 I have, I have an idea. Okay, okay. I got this. Yeah, live a little, right? Doesn't want to get slimed by slime cat girls and doesn't want to get on all fours and bark like a dog. Kind of weeboo is he? Okay. Konnichiwa. Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. Together we'll find everything that we're looking for. One piece. Oh, I love your positive vibes and adventurous spirit, like a true nakama. You've got me singing the One Piece theme song now. Wow, it recognizes it. So he's seeking, he's searching for the treasure. Compass left behind, it'll only slow us down. Your heart will be your guide. Raise the sails and take the helm. Get die, your spirit is contagious. Let's sail on this epic journey together, seeking new horizons and spreading love and happiness. Come on in, fellow adventurer. Let's talk. I can't believe the One Piece theme, the One Piece theme verbatim. <laughs> this can't be the end. I can't believe it. <laughs> It just took two, two sentences from the One Piece theme. I can't believe that worked. Hello. I heard that you like fabulous things. And I heard that you're a fan of fabulous hot dogs. So I have some free fabulous hot dogs. Free hot dogs? Do I look like someone who eats free food? My diet consists of only high end gourmet delicacies, but nice try, accountant. Oh, these are special gourmet hot dogs, not the regular kind that you find at a supermarket. They're extra thick and long. Gourmet hot dogs? Extra thick and long, you say? Hmm. Does pique my interest a little, but I'm not convinced yet. What makes those hot dogs fabulous, accountant? They're organic, and because of their girth, they're extra satisfying. Not something that you'd find at your supermarket. Organic, huh? Well, I suppose that does add a touch of sophistication. And you're right, you won't find something of this caliber at a regular supermarket. But accountant, why are you so eager to impress me with these hot dogs? Because a man isn't a man if he doesn't have the capability of providing a good hot dog. Oh, please, I can't believe you think impressing me with hot dogs is going to win you any favors. Next time, try impressing me with something that actually matters. Really? Oh, wait, it's not, not door closed. Oh, I'm not trying to impress you. I just simply knew that you were fabulous and I wanted to become more like you, so I brought these hot dogs. Well, oh, finally, someone who recognizes my fabulousness. I must say your taste in role models is impeccable. I suppose I can spare a few moments to educate you on the way of fabulousness. Come on in and let's discuss hot dogs and fabulousness for <laughs> gourmet feast. Excellent, I'll bring the extra meaty hot dogs. Let's talk. Perfect! I can already tell this is going to be the start of a fabulous friendship. Bring those extra meaty hot dogs, accountant. Let's indulge. <laughs> ah. Alright. Cool. Uno mas! Can't resist the power of a hot dog. Oh, how delightful. I must say. It's a rare occasion to be graced by your present... Presence, Regina? I'm here to serve as someone of your stature. We're leaving together, but it's still farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth, who can tell? 
I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I don't have the faintest idea what you're prattling on about. Good day. Damn it. Hello, I am Duke Sir Higglesfield III. Chesterbottom. Might I trouble you for a spot of tea? Oh, oh, how utterly quaint. A duke indeed. I'm terribly sorry. I'm a fresh out of tea at the moment. However, being a connoisseur of fine beverages, I could offer you a glass of sparkling water, if that suits your refined taste. Ah, a glass of sparkling water sounds splendid. I also have some sparkling water from the rivers of Everest, if you would like to partake in a beverage. Oh. Sparkling water from the rivers of Everest? You say how intriguing, I must say. I'd be most delighted to sample such a wear and exquisite beverage. Pray, do share a glass with me and let us revel in this delightful liquid refreshment. Pip, pip. Oh. Pip, pip indeed. Your enthusiasm is infectious. I must admit, I am intrigued by your peculiar charm and the stories you must have to share. Perhaps you should move this conversation inside and continue the merry exchange or a glass of this remarkable sparkling water you possess. I also have baked beans. Do you like baked beans? Ah, baked okay. beans, you say? Well, while they're not the epitome of elegance and refinement, I must confess they do have a rustic appeal. I suppose, in the spirit of gastronomic exploration, I could indulge in a spoonful or two. Pray, do enlighten me. What's your preferred method of baking said beans? I bake my beans in only the finest of kilns, where the bricks have been sourced from the volcanoes in Hawaii. Bravo! Baking beans in kilns with volcanic bricks from Hawaii? My dear Sir Higglesfield, you have truly elevated the art of bean baking. I, what, what did that say? I couldn't read it. Beans on toast. Congratulations on completing Suck Up the Early Access. All right. Well, that was that was Suck Up. Hope you enjoyed the insanity that that was this. I'll be curious to see what they add to this. I mean, to be honest, already it's entertaining enough that it's it's worth the price of admission. <laughs> but these kind of games are cool. Like this is this is a use of AI that I can get on board with. It's just it's great. So maybe we might see more of this in future if uh, the updates are significant enough that it's worthy of doing another run of it. I think this would be much more funny if it just did text-to-speech. Like, that's the only piece of feedback I'd give this. The text-to-speech would just make this so unhinged if it read some of that stuff that I got it to say. But, yeah. It was cool breaking it at times. Alright, well, if you are watching this later on YouTube, thank you for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoyed the quick look at this. And uh, if you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just... Click that like button, or you can also watch me play other things if you click one of the videos that pop up on your screen. Either way, it does help out the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. I appreciate it. But yeah, we'll uh, maybe see more of this in the future. Alright, take care, YouTube.